Families changed forever as heroin takes hold of the community. In Nash County, the medical examiner's office is looking into five suspected overdose deaths, and that's just since Friday. WNCN's Michael Hyland is here with the story of one young woman who's working to gain control after becoming addicted to heroin. Michael? Jessica Schneider's story isn't typical because heroin is the first drug she ever tried. But she says soon after, it took control. Dear heroin, I hate you. You've turned my life upside down. Jessica Schneider is reading a letter she wrote that marked a turning point. I have to look in the mirror every day and see the scars and deal with the pain. This was a way to express to her mom how much she needed help. She didn't know. She really didn't have any clue about what she needed to do to help me. Jessica's addiction to heroin started when she was a teenager after her dad passed away. I ended up meeting a guy and he actually introduced me to it. And from there on, it just got worse and worse. The second time I did it, it turned into IV. And after I did the IV, it was done and over with. I couldn't wake up, couldn't roll out of the bed. She's at the Durham Rescue Mission after being arrested in Kentucky on a drug possession charge. She's been here for five months, working in the development department and getting help to avoid turning to heroin again. To be honest with you, before I came down here, I thought I was honestly going to die on it. In Nash County, Sheriff Keith Stone says that's exactly what's happening to too many young people. And I've seen way too often just here in the community several deaths, and these are young people. They had lives ahead of them, and they're ending up in the graveyard. In and around this rural county, five suspected overdose deaths in recent days are under investigation. Last year, investigators in Nash County seized more than $3 million worth of heroin. You're never prepared for the amount that's going on now. Our guys are working dealers up and down um, our corridors. It's putting a burden on us, local law enforcement, our court systems. When I was being raised, I wasn't raised around drugs or anything like that. Knew right from wrong, knew that drugs were, you're not supposed to do it, knew all of that. She says it's important for people to understand just how pervasive the problem is and correct the misperceptions. And when it comes to heroin, heroin does not, does not discriminate at all. It hits families that are very wealthy families that have Christian going, going to school children, um, teens. It's mostly in the suburbs now. Jessica will be at the rescue mission until September. When she leaves, she plans to go back to Kentucky to finish classes at a cosmetology school. And one day, she hopes to open a salon and continue helping people like herself who are battling an addiction. Sean. All right, Michael, thank you. North Carolina.